This group is engaged in some of the most detestable and vile behavior. They they mock the crucifixion of our Lord. They gyrate on a cross. Uh, they've had condom masses. They put yogurt in a chalice to imitate semen. Uh, this is, you know, a uh, just an absolute disgusting group. And to have a major league baseball team decide to grant them an award and to put them on the baseball field as if this group somehow represents something the community of Los Angeles should be proud of. It's it's just terrible. And I think all fans of baseball and all decent Americans should be outraged by what we're seeing. Uh, what I'm about to show you folks may be shocking to some audiences. So just be warned. Uh, this is an example of a show that these uh, trans nuns do in front of audiences. This is one clearly sexualizing and mocking the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Brian, what is the next step here? Well, the Dodgers, as you suggest, have reinvited this group, and they do plan to bestow an award on them on June 16th. Uh, we are engaged in a large media campaign. We're raising our goal is to raise a million dollars, and we're well on our way to doing that to run advertising up and through uh, this Pride Night in Los Angeles. Uh, all Christians, just like we did with Bud Light, just like we're doing with Target now, and now the Los Angeles Dodgers, need to speak out. There are consequences for these companies if enough people react and express and their, their their anger at this, you know, this is not just, you know, pride. There's no pride in mocking uh, Catholic nuns. There's no pride in anti-Catholic bigotry. And I think whether you're Christian or Catholic or anyone, this is a, this is a line that's been crossed and they risk becoming the Bud Light of baseball.